So this is my Electron Hacks Mars Rover, uh, version 2 we'll call it. So this is pretty cool design. Uh, I, I'll link to the original creator on Thingiverse. Uh, he has a cool video. And I wanted to copy it and remix it. He's coming to you. So the remote control is built using Blink. The phone is using Bluetooth Low Energy to communicate to the Arduino 101 board. So we've got a normal configuration, then we can make it straight, or if we want to turn. Um, direction forward and reverse, and this is the gas, reverse. This is like an emergency stop button right here. You can certainly build this yourself. The Blink app is free. Just download it on your phone. It has independent suspension. Um, it works pretty well if you're in a straight configuration. But if you're turning, or if you're in this configuration, it, the wheels get kind of wonky, so I would say this isn't the ultimate platform, but certainly um, there's room for improvement and refinement here. So I put some screws here to kind of limit the travel, so it'll kind of rest on those. 100 millimeter shocks for RC trucks. These gear motors, you can get these a uh, set of four of these with wheels for about eight bucks on eBay so pretty affordable of course uh, normal sized uh, hobby servos of course it'd be nice if you printed some big gnarly uh, Mars Rover wheels for this everything is 3d printed here so let's look at the electronics here so I'm powering using a two cell lipo battery a switch for convenience uh, this is a 20 amp fuse just so that if I, you know, short the wires together, it doesn't, it'll blow the fuse and not set my LiPo on fire. These four wires are coming from the servos, and then the green and yellow wires are coming from the motors. This is a 3 amp uh, Ubeck battery eliminator circuit. Essentially, this is a voltage regulator, so the motors can take, um, you know, 8 volts from the LiPo, that's great, but the servos require 5 volts, period. So, how we get that clean 5 volts for the servos is with this little guy. They're pretty affordable, uh, under $10. And then, the brains of the whole deal is an Arduino 101. 
So it's like a regular Arduino Uno, only it has a built-in Bluetooth low energy and it has an IMU. And then this is a Adafruit motor shield. There are four outputs for the motors. And then they have lots of space here to solder in your own stuff and that's where I soldered in some pins for the uh, servo outputs. The cool thing about this Adafruit motor shield is it uses I squared C so there's really only two wires coming off the Arduino board to control the motors. That leaves all the rest of the pins for whatever you want. So I came off of some of the PWM pins. You can see I wired them over. There's positive and negative bus and then the POWM pins connect over here to the servo wires. So Blink is pretty cool. You can just add a button. Lo and behold there's a button for you to configure. So you just drag them on there, set them up. So for instance this button goes to a virtual 2 output and it's a switch. This right here is a number between 0 and 255 and it's going to virtual 0. You could also go straight to an, uh, a regular pin, but I'm doing virtual pins here. So once Bluetooth is connected, you can go ahead and connect to our device. This is what's being advertised over Bluetooth Low Energy. Connect, put it into run mode. So we've got the configuration, which way the wheels are, t are pointed. You're going to turn, you push that, reverse forward, speed, emergency stop. So these sliders up here are really just for figuring out what the exact position is. You can see output is 51 here. And then you calibrate the, the wheel positions in the Arduino code. Then you won't use these sliders up top anymore. And then the Arduino code, you can download this from my GitHub. I'm not going to go into complete detail on it, but I'm just going to point out a few things here. When you build your Blink app, you'll have an authorization token. You copy and paste that in here. This sets up the four motor outputs on the Arduino, on the Adafruit motor shield. And here's where we set up uh, four servo outputs. And the rest of these are just uh, variables. In the setup, we go ahead and uh, start the serial port. We turn everything on. The loop, there's really nothing in the loop. We just keep running the blink run and the Bluetooth low energy peripheral. So, um, what Blink handles the rest, then the rest of the code is all subroutines. So here's a function for Blink Virtual Zero. Remember I said that I was writing to a virtual pin? So V0 is for speed. So if we look at the speed slider, we're writing to V0, a number between 0 and 255. So right here is where we read it. We read it, we set it to V speed, and then we go ahead and set that speed to the motors. We do some serial prints for debugging, and that's it. And then we do some motor stuff. That's another subroutine. So V1 is for the direction, V2 is for the configuration of the wheels, which way they're pointed, and then if we turn, we're going to do that one. So, motor stuff is where we decide to run them. If, if the speed is zero, we would do a release, and that actually turns the motors off. Otherwise, we look and see which direction are we turning, and sets the motors in the, the proper uh, rotation. If you change the configuration or you're trying to turn, 
um, the motors need to spin in a different direction. <clears throat> and then down here, there are three subroutines that change the angle of the wheels. So if we're in the normal position, this is where I adjusted, hey, put, put these uh, outputs to those four servos to turn the motors that way. Or if we're strafing, turn them that way. Or if we're turning. So you're going to end up tuning these up whenever you um, load it into your project because you're, you know, you might attach the servo slightly differently. Then of course down here, these were the, the last four sliders up top that just write to a single servo so you can get that calibration value. All right, so I think that's about it for the video. I'm gonna go ahead and um, on my blog, I will link to the software. I'll try to link to the blink code um, and uh, hopefully some of you will take this and uh, remix it and make some cool Mars rovers.